this episode of Kiss Him Not Me has left me so happy and greatly anticipating for the next episode. Now, as we know, out of all the characters, we have finally came to the episode where we now focus on Mitsumi Asuma. And, you know, he is the senpai and the oldest out of the, the entire group and main characters of Kiss Him, Not Me. And this episode was the episode to tell us whether he realized he has feelings for Kai or he just thinks of her as a good friend. So, to start off with things, this episode started off where there is a treasure hunt. And this treasure hunt was something that was created by the president of the History Club three years ago, prior to the storyline. And might I add, it's I find it um, very interesting that the current timeline of the series is in the same year of this year, 2016. Because the treasure hunt was created three years prior to Mitsumi being the president of the history club and you know prior to what is actually going on which was um like i said 2013 so right now currently in the storyline they're in the year 2016. um i found that pretty interesting so they all go on this um treasure hunt to find this so-called treasure and at first the guys didn't want to go but once they heard that only mitsumi and kai wanted to go automatically they wanted to go because they thought mitsumi always had feelings for kai but then they start questioning themselves because they said every time there's some event going on, they wanted to know if Mitsumi was either just tagging along or he was doing it for the same reasons they were doing it. So it came up to the point where when they were in the cave um, looking for the treasure, um, Igarashi raised up the question that a lot of us had and was hoping that someone in the series would have asked the question. And that was asking Mitsumi, um, do you have any romantic feelings? feelings do you like Kai and first he says he does like her but he likes everyone so he has a general love for just about anyone as they will say he has a love for humanity itself but when they got when Igarashi went specific, specifically into asking him do you have do you think of Kai as a special person to yourself um it left Mitsumi in a perplexed state because he doesn't know how he feels about her aside from as a good friend and as they going through the cave and everyone gets separate he's stuck with um Kai and we see where we find out a little bit more of his personality is that he's someone that cannot deal with the dark due to his past trauma being locked up in a storehouse and was forgotten for at least a day or two until he was rescued so he had a fear for the dark and so Kai tries to calm him down and tries to lead him to the rest of the group where she's grabbing his hand and Mitsumi something clicks in him and he realizes he doesn't want to let her go he feels that his fingers are hot his heart is beating a lot and you know just before they go find everyone else he hugs her and he's shocked that he's hot um hugging her because he's like why did i do that usually i don't do that but it's because of what he remembered what igarashi said it started to trigger something in him like some type of feeling is starting to emerge in him something that was laying dormant for all this time now we have a new character that's introduced and that is mitsumi senpai's older brother by the name of kazuma now, Kazuma is a very free-spirited, very whimsical type of person. And he, he seems cool and everything. And, you know, we come to find out he's the one who caused the trauma for Mitsumi at the same time. And he's the type of guy that has, you know, he doesn't care what gender you are. If he likes you, he likes you. So he's a guy that's, like I said, free-spirited. And, you know, love is love for him. Now... He's the type of person that likes to kind of push Mitsumi's buttons because he knows that Mitsumi is not an assertive person, that he'll let things slide. And we come to see where Mitsumi has lost his cool twice in this episode. We already see Mitsumi upset um, at least three times in the series, I believe. The first time was when Kai's older brother was trying to embarrass her in front of the guys and he pushed him out of the room. The second time, what was it again? I think it was the beach, the beach scene just recently where those um older guys were trying to hit on kai and he was having none of it i guess it was at least two times if i'm missing out one time um where he was upset but other than that we never saw him actually lose his cool the first time he lost his cool was when his brother was trying to approach kai and say that he would like to go out with her and he yells nissan 
and then we see where he's at home and he's watching a video of like a couple like a movie and then he's going back remembering when he held Kai's hand and he's he's like you know he's trying to fully realize how the depths of his feelings for her after what Igarashi said is still on his mind replaying in his mind very fresh and then his brother is like you know you're so lucky to have a cute girl and it's like right now at this point till the very ending of the episode Mitsumi is like he's in this state of not knowing what his feelings truly are and we get to the end of the episode where Kai is putting stuff back into you know fixing up the history club room and Kazuma comes in and he's helping her and she was about to go and end up hurting herself when he catches her. And then he's like, you know, you're really cute. I want to go out with you. Which Mitsumi comes in and chops him in the head with a book. And we see him like he's not cool with the situation at all. You see him for the first time. The cool collected, you know, airheaded senpai is actually angry. And he tells his brother that what he's doing is, is wrong. Because you're a teacher and you're hitting on a student. And he goes on to further saying that, you know, the brother is telling, provoking him in a sense, saying that, oh, what are you going to do about it, like, once my term is ended, because he's a student teacher, once my term has ended, I can pursue her, so there's, what are you going to be able to do about it? And Mitsumi became assertive in that situation, someone who's usually passive and would let things slide, he became the man of the situation, put his arm around Kai and said she is my girlfriend and the episode ends just right there and it is to be continued into next week's episode so we saw a completely new side to Mitsumi when it comes to his brother while he does love his brother he doesn't always put up with all of his crap especially if it's him provoking him and he finally comes to the confirmation that he indeed does love Kai by the end of this episode whether you want to deny it or not because Mits I doubt Mitsumi is the type of person to actually put himself in a situation where he's going to try to fake becoming someone's boyfriend for the sake of, you know, making someone else deter from her and, you know, leave them alone. The fact that, you know, Igarashi was the one to point that out and the fact that now he's been thinking about it constantly and now he come to the realization that yes he does have feelings because he knows that Kai, um, Kai was always a friendly and sweet person and that whenever he hangs out with her he has the most fun but it goes further into those feelings and just what he sees on the outside just from knowing her since they were like first and second years up to now you know all of those feelings were there but like I said it was laying doormat until the question was asked and risen to the occasion so i guess it's going to be like an arc for him which may end up into episode 11 and possibly 12 i don't know for sure but this will continue on to next week's episode and i was so happy watching this episode because the best boy finally got his shine and we don't know if she's going to end up with him but i do have to my i have to add in that when he was acting like you know hugging her or saying his um she was his girlfriend kai was not embarrassed or like oh my god if it was the other guys that did this she probably would have been totally embarrassed but i mean she was shocked about some of the things that mitsumi did but she was nowhere how she would have probably acted if it was the other guys who put her if they were in the same situation um, like what happened in this episode so that's one I think it's because she's so comfortable with Mitsumi Senpai I guess that's the reason why but nonetheless if you guys saw this week's episode of Kiss Him Not Me episode 10 do drop a comment down below on how you felt about this week's episode what do you expect for next week's and are you hoping and praying that they will be the end game of this series if not a possible season two is in the works who knows the links are in the description box as always so you guys could check that out and i'm kimmy chan of anime legends podcast and i will see you guys later bye